I wanted to make sure you know how to update your EFTPS password because Intuit sent out an email back in August that said by September 19th, if your email hasn't been changed in the last 13 months, that they're gonna require they're gonna make you update it. And they're gonna change their requirements for the EFTPS, which will affect if you can file your taxes electronically through the desktop version. So what we're gonna to wanna to do, the first step is you're gonna to wanna to go to the EFTPS website. So I just usually type in EFTPS and log in. I recommend bookmarking this. I typically have this. Now, when you set up desktop, you don't have to log in every time, but you should still know how to log in. So you're gonna put in your EIN number, your PIN number that you received and your password. You need to know these three things. So go ahead and enter those. And then once you've entered that information, you're going to click log in. And then it's gonna say hello and your business name. You have successfully logged in. Um, email notification, you can choose to change that if you want. We're gonna go over to my profile and we're gonna go over to internet password management. You can click on it here or here, it takes you to the same place. So we are going to change our internet password. You need the same information that you've already entered. So go ahead and put in your employer identification number, your PIN number, and your new password. So you're gonna put in your new password twice. You need to make sure you have your uppercase, lowercase, and your numerical in there with a special character. Now my password is changed and accepted. The next step is you're gonna to wanna to log into your QuickBooks desktop or the next time you go to pay it and it asks you, it, a little thing pops up that says, confirm your password. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that you put in the right password. The new password that you use, after that it will save it, but you're gonna to wanna to make sure you change it the first time. And if you ever wanna change your PIN, you can change that as well. They require you to have your EIN number, your PIN, and your password every time you log in, and the same information. Whether you log in on the website or through QuickBooks Desktop, you need the same information. So I hope this helps. Let me know down below if you enjoyed this tip. And if you need help with QuickBooks, as always, don't forget to subscribe and join candacecamfer.com forward slash tips, and I will see you in the next tip.